Good day, I'm Douglas Schumacher with Badger Broadcast TV, and this is your weather report for January 28th through the 31st. Well, as you've probably heard, it's going to be a very active week in terms of the weather. Uh, starting on Monday morning, a strong low pressure system sitting over far northern Illinois, producing plenty of snowfall across uh, really all of Wisconsin, but especially here in southern Wisconsin. Uh, where snow totals of 8 to 12 inches are expected. We'll be talking more about that in just a moment. We advance to Tuesday. It'll be a bit of a quiet day. This low pressure system will be moving uh, off to the east, but really our the next big story is going to be the cold uh, temperatures moving into the region, especially Wednesday and Thursday. See this big Arctic high pressure uh, moving uh, out of Canada uh, towards the upper Midwest. It really takes hold on Wednesday, sitting over the uh, the eastern Dakotas, uh, and we're really going to have these strong northwest winds funneling cold air down into Wisconsin. Some of the coldest air in the region in the last 25 years, and some records could be broken. Then on Thursday, this high pressure system then sweeps uh, by us and is over the Ohio Valley. Uh, but really, it's going to be brutally cold Wednesday and Thursday, and that's the big story. So here on Monday, we have a winter storm warning in effect until 6 p.m. The heaviest snowfall will be occurring during the overnight hours, uh, so early Monday morning uh, into about commute time on Monday. So really, walking to class, it's going to be kind of an inconvenience. Uh, the university, as of Sunday evening, has said that classes will go on as scheduled, but uh, people driving to campus on Monday... Uh, it could be a very treacherous commute, uh, if not impossible in some places because of this heavy snowfall. We're expecting 8 to 12 inches of snow to fall, the majority of it uh, before 9 a.m. on Monday, uh, and then flurries continuing throughout the day, uh, but uh, winds will also be picking up Monday afternoon into the evening, which could cause some blowing and drifting. Then on Tuesday, it's a bit of a break. Uh, it will be cold, but not brutally so. We're talking about a high of uh, minus 2 on Tuesday. Temperatures, though, will be falling throughout the day, and temperatures probably won't come back above zero uh, until Friday. You can see this low for Tuesday night, really on Wednesday morning, we're reaching 27 below. And that's why on Wednesday morning, we're really concerned about the wind chills. We're talking dangerous wind chills uh, where frostbite could occur in 5 to 10 minutes. That's wind chills of 45 to 60 below. So those temperatures in the mid-20s below zero plus a wind Wednesday morning, uh, it's really going to be, uh, you're going to have to have all your skin covered if you go outside. Really try to avoid your exposure to it because it's really, really dangerous. Partly sunny skies. Um, and then low temperatures Wednesday night into Thursday morning, dropping down to 28 below, so even a bit colder. But on Thursday, the wind won't be quite as strong as Wednesday morning, so we're expecting wind chills in the morning of 35 to 45 below. And there'll be a few more clouds on Thursday as well. So the brutal cold ends on Thursday, and we actually start warming up quite rapidly into Friday, partly to mostly cloudy skies, high of 18. Then we're already in above freezing by the weekend. Uh, there will be a chance for rain and snow showers on Saturday, a better chance on Sunday, with temperatures at 37 and 36 for the highs. So that's been this Badger Broadcast Television weather report. The next full report will be published on Friday, February 1st, 2019. Make sure to like our Facebook page, Badger Broadcast Television, for all the latest, including some live streams throughout the week and other updates uh, to keep you both safe and uh, in the know about what's going on here on campus with the weather. Uh, as long as you like our Facebook page, you should see those live streams and other things. You can also follow me on personal social media at Dougashu. Thanks for watching and stay safe out there.